Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. This is going to be a quick little video on this uh, small hive here. It's been reduced down. It wasn't doing well out of winter. Uh, the queen is just kind of limping along. And a lot of times on these hives like this, I'll just let them go. And I was thinking this year I might uh, just pull a queen out and let them make an emergency queen because it's not going to do anything anyway. So uh, this here's hive three, and this is uh, April 23rd, if I remember right. So let's get in here, see what we find. Decent amount of bees up here. Looks like they got the remnants of a pollen patty left. They act like they might uh, want to get a little grumpy with me. Of course, it's late in the evening here. And if I find a really strong hive and it's doing well, I can throw another deep on there. Which it looks uh, better than I anticipated, but not great. So they've totally consumed that pollen patty. This here's the uh, parchment paper or wax paper. I'm not sure which I used. So the last uh, couple years I've made my own patties. I use uh, Man Lakes B Pro and I just mix the powder with some different liquids liquid sugar syrup make my own Cayman Reynolds has a really good recipe for that and that's what I use this here's uh, got some nectar going here and pollen so what I want to see here is a good brood pattern where I've reduced this down that's pretty much empty, and I got stung there on the glove. This is uh, nectar and pollen again. So someone left a comment a while back about uh, using blue nitrile gloves, thick ones, and wearing glove liners underneath them. And I actually went and bought them. The, the brand that he told me about, they're called Thickster, T-H-I-C-K, stir. And you can get them on Amazon, and they do have long cuffs. And they're really thick, like 17 mil, I think, 15 mil. And I already had some uh, glove liners. I just didn't have time to get them out today. So here we see some brood, and it's not a great looking pattern. It's kind of small. But I've seen worse. I wouldn't say that's a failing queen. I don't see any drone cells popping out of there like she's running out of fertilized eggs. And here's another one. It's just not a real strong pattern. And there she is right there. She's a little bitty thing. She's uh, poking her head around there looking for a place to lay an egg. So see how she's like slender? Kind of like a queen that's about ready to swarm, you know, that's trimming down. So I had several queens like that last year. They just didn't mate well. And I'm guessing she's one of those that I made from a split. It's a little bit of brood there. So I could pull her out. See how that's intermittent? Now all those empty cells have a larva in them. So she's gone back and filled them in. So maybe there is hope for her. But I've, I had some that looked scrawnier than her. <laughs> 
Yeah, and this looks the same. She's laid on here too. And the majority of those empty cells have a larva in them. So maybe reducing them down is what they needed. So I could on this hive do a single deep, run it as a single, and uh, throw a super on it. That's all full of nectar. A lot of nectar, it's not completely full. That's some capped honey. So this is left over from last year. So I reduced it down. I gave him some honey frames. See if she could get her act together. I think she's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with her. If those other cells had been empty, I was gonna pull her and let them requeen with a emergency cell. They would make their own from an egg. I'm assuming there's eggs in there. So when you have a double deep hive coming out of winter and you have a small cluster and the queen isn't laying well, you want to reduce it down to one box because they have to keep that whole box warm and they can't do it with when they have don't have much uh, many bees to make a biomass a nice cluster to keep themselves warm. Uh, they'll be up in the very top. So if you reduce it down, give them less space to keep warm in. You could even reduce it down to a nuke. So if I reduce this down to a single, and they are doing a little better so than what they were before. So we'll let it go. I'll probably uh, throw a super on here and. Uh, see if they can make some honey on that and then for the fall flow when the uh, goldenrod blooms i'll throw a second deep on there and see if they're strong enough by then put a second deep on and let them work on that so they'll have a nice honey store to get through winter so that's it just following up on this little weak hive here and seeing uh what we needed to do uh i thought i might pinch that queen but uh, we're going to give her a second chance <laughs> So give me a thumbs up on the video. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out and we'll catch you on the next beekeeping video. Y'all take care.